Hi, I'm Kay and this is Blake and we're coming to you from the Ipswich City Council's Active at Home series and today we've come up with a lot of ideas you can do at home with a tennis ball. Now if you haven't got a tennis ball maybe you've got a handball and for some of these things you can use rolled up socks. So first of all Hayden we've got to start with the basics. Blake can you throw and catch? And then if that's easy for you, throw higher. Challenge yourself. That is easy for Blake, isn't it? What about a clap? I think he can do two claps. Go on. He can. Can he do three? Can he throw it up, turn around and catch it? Throw it up, turn around and clap. Oh my gosh, he's awesome. Can you bounce it and catch it? Maybe he needs to clap in between as well, make it more challenging or spin. He can do lots. He can expand on those, clap more times, spin more times, get better and better and challenge yourself. Now, I think he might also be good at balancing. Can you balance that on top of the racket? Do you have a racket at home or a Frisbee or a plastic plate maybe. Try and walk around me. Don't drop it. That is very good for his balancing skills. Can you stand on one foot? You can. Can you turn in a circle? He's very, very good. Can you bounce it with your racket? And what about bouncing it upwards? Maybe you could count how many times you can bounce it before it falls off and you can challenge yourself to get more and more. That's excellent. I think we can also try wrapping a ball around our body. Thanks, I'll throw that over there. So we're going to pretend we're wrapping ourselves, I don't know, it's Mother's Day. So let's put our feet together. Now, we're going to pass the ball around behind us, starting at our ankles and going up to our calf muscles and then your patellas, that's your knee bones, and your thighs. Wrap it round and round so you're crossing over and you can get faster if you're good at this. Around your bottom, very good for your coordination. Your abdominals, that's your tummy muscles. That always happens. Chest, oh, it's hard to reach that high. Neck, keep wrapping, keep wrapping. Good job. And my mouth, well, wrap up your mouth and your nose and your eyeballs. And now around the top of your head, make a little bow. <laughs> good job. So that was really good, really good game for our coordination. Now, if you've got a skipping rope or a piece of chalk, you can make a bit of a line. So I'm just going to throw that on the ground there. I'll put my ball in my pocket. And Blake's going to stand on one side and I'm going to stand on the other. And he's going to bounce past his ball to me. So Blake, you're going to throw it down towards the ground so it bounces up and I can catch it. Good. Excellent. So that gives us another game idea. Good job. Now we're going to try we could also make like targets. So if we have some concrete or something we can draw on, you can get yourself some chalk. I've got a nice big one. And you might draw love hearts, flowers, shapes, like a circle, triangle, rectangle. And then you can aim your ball at the different targets and smash them. You can also throw your ball against a wall and catch it and challenge yourself with that as well. Putting in the clap and the turning around. What else can we show you? Bottle bowling. So can you save some bottles from around the house and do some bowling like Blake's about to? He's going to try and bowl that over. Easy peasy, underarm. Try again. Run and get it. Doesn't matter if you miss, because we all do. Yeah, I want you to get it. Oh, I didn't make myself clear. Good job. Hold on to it because he can also do some box bowling or he can play fly swatter hockey. 
So I only had one hockey stick, uh, one fly swatter at home. You're probably going to enjoy this more if you've got two and two people. But we're going to see if Blake can put his ball on the ground and try and get that ball into our box goal using his fly swatter. Oh, easy. And he might like to use some obstacles to make some cones and dribble in and out of with his fly swatter as well. Um, we can also do some spider walking. So, Blake, you hold on to that ball. And we could sit down on the floor. Oh, it's in my pocket. <laughs> I'm like, where's my ball? Okay, we can sit down on the floor and we can do some little spider walking with our fingers. So let's put our spider fingers on top of our ball and we can walk out away from our body and back in. It's a bit like a spider circus. <laughs> Change hands. Good job. And go round and round. And make your spider do a somersault. <laughs> you can even go around behind your body. This is tricky because you can't see it. Pass it over to the other hand and bring it back around. Now we're going to put our feet out in front of us and put our ball on our toes. They're called phalange bones and use two spiders and we're going to walk all the way up to our knees. That's it. And keep going up over your abdominals, up past your neck, over your face and up to your skull. Give yourself a massage and you can come all the way back down again. Good job, down past your abdominals, your thighs, your patellas all the way back to your phalanges. And now see if you can hold your ball between your toes. No hands. And give your spiders a clap. Give them a clap at home. Oh, I think you just squashed them. <laughs> Good job, Blake. Thanks for helping me out. Thanks for joining us for Ipswich City Council's Active at Home series. Uh, we hope you can come and play with us again next time. Bye.